right, so this is a locally made heavy duty disc. This is a $3,300 disc, um, new. This one is very lightly used. He said he only used it a handful of times. It's just been sitting. Uh, he had it listed for $2,750. Been sitting for a few months. Went down to $2,250. And since I, I broke my chisel disc, or at least the bearings are out on the, the chisels up front, um, I need a new option. Um, we're finding out in Ozarks, tillage is going to be different. So uh, anyways, I offered them two. I said, I'll give you two for it. I'll be there tomorrow. So I may Frankenstein this and mix it with the uh, chisel disc, maybe over the winter. Um, but I mean, that's, that's a pretty good price on it. I'm, I didn't overpay to be sure. Um, Phil bought a six footer from Illinois last year for 3,200. So I did pretty good on this. Like I said, it's a heavy duty unit. Uh, I may fabricate the drag off of the chisel disc on here. Like I said, I'll look at it, but this, with all the rocks we got, like my tiller is no good. I'll probably sell that. You can't use that here in the Ozarks. And that's a and that's an expensive tiller. Hopefully, I can sell it and recoup recoup some of the investment on that. So, anyways, that's what's going on. There was another equipment update. Now I can't remember what it is. Oh yeah, the Coyote tractor. So the RX, uh, even after they cleaned all the fuel tank and the fuel lines, it was still uh, wonking out some. And finally, the other day, uh, a different light came on a fuel filter light came on a dash so while i was out in the field i drained the uh, fuel filter and a bunch of water came out and ever since then nothing it's running solid now probably the way it's supposed to so i don't know if there's fuel down here if if there's some gas stations with you know bad diesel or what the deal if i got a bad batch or what happened but now i'm feeling much more confident um, I'm gonna do some grapple work with the NS soon and I mean I'm hoping to get this chisel in it's probably a little bit above more than what I think I can handle for repair but what happened was these sealed bearings two uh, two of them blew out so I was able to chisel the last the last plot by tilting it and just using the chisels and that drag and these were hardly even moving to preserve them so we'll see what i'm going to do i mean i'm getting this fixed no matter what i love this chisel disc but it's probably going to be over winter before they can track down them bearings and i can get someone to do that because this thing is really heavy and just it's not a project that i want to take on now what i may consider doing is i got to look at the layout but if i can unbolt this this is one axle this front chisel I, and again i don't know if there's room with this but if i could take that front row of the notch discs off of the new one and bolt it on this front then this would be even that much better we'll see i got to get them side by side time in a shop which i don't have a shop right now to work in in the winter time so we'll see what i'm going to end up with but with the Great Reset coming, it's almost on the way. I'd rather have equipment that I need, plenty of fuel. Oh yeah, that was the other thing. I got my red fuel filled. So we're good for emergency fuel for the machines and for my truck. All right, that's the equipment update for now. I feel like I'm missing something, but I guess not.